Well, hello there, Pisces. How are you? It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today, we're doing your March 2024 tarot reading. We'll take a look first at the overall energy with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details about any obstacles on your path or areas of resistance, and of course, advice from divine. Okay, so let's see what we have here for you. Choosing your path, all is possible. Wow, and Bobcat Spirit, life is a mystery. Interesting, Cancer had this too. Um, I feel like there's a new path that's opening up. Now, first of all, happy birthday, Pisces. We're in your season. We also have the new moon in Pisces coming up this weekend, right? It's kind of like that dreamy energy of understanding, wait a minute, <laughs> because the new moon in Pisces is kind of like, what does my heart truly desire? And I feel like maybe you have been on a path for some time that really hasn't been what your heart truly desires and this is kind of the energy of understanding something is coming onto your path life is a mystery right something maybe is occurring during this new moon in Pisces um this weekend that kind of like opens your eyes to seeing wait a minute I I want to make a change there's something here that um, or an opportunity, right? It comes to light that helps you to make a change in your life so that you can go towards what your heart truly desires. It says all is possible, right? Understanding that maybe there's been something that you have wanted to do, but that you were concerned that you you couldn't go in that, that direction for one reason or another, right? And maybe not believing in yourself, not thinking you had the the creativity or you know the gifts the talents the the financial resources to go in a certain direction and now something is coming to light yes this is beautiful energy okay so for your present energy you have the transformation but what you're transforming here okay is your energy of looking at the past there's something here something or someone in the past that has held you back from going in the direction that you have really wanted to yeah you have this spiritual path so you have the loving man I feel like the loving man doesn't have to be literally a romantic connection but I feel like somebody is coming onto your path that's kind of like a teacher a mentor somebody that inspires you a little bit this is um the king of cups energy but it's somebody that kind of inspires you see something in yourself perhaps that you haven't been able to see in yourself it kind of like in a very loving way this this could be uh, literally maybe we have creative endeavor here okay so you could perhaps have painted a painting or something and then you have it um hanging in in a gallery maybe you know it's just like you know you're trying to get some exposure okay or something like that or or you do a podcast and you're talking about a book that you wrote or some music or lyrics that you've written or something like that. You're just kind of like trying to, to put out into the world something that you have created, trying to open up an opportunity that maybe you have been working on for a long time and it's just kind of like a labor of love, I'm going to say, but you're you're almost like it's just not going to work out, right? The Five of Swords is a difficult energy, being up in your head, being fearful that things are not going to work out for you. But this person hears you or sees you or sees your work or something. And all it could be as simple as somebody just commenting, giving you kind of like this boost of confidence to continue on. This is a person that literally with the spiritual temple has been put onto your path in order to help you to go in the direction that you really want to go in, right? It could be an investor. It could be, um, it could literally be a teacher that takes you under their wing or somebody that wants to mentor you. You know, there's this opportunity because you have commitment understanding that this is the situation is going to to help you to recommit i feel like you're recommitting to what it is that you really truly want for yourself because you have the six of wands the wheel of fortune the sun the high priestess it's like for a very long time you have known that this was your path but it's kind of like you haven't been able to truly step onto the path right it's kind of like perhaps you have 
a, a job that you have during the day and then you're working on this creative endeavor on the side right it could be a side business it could be a, a you know a passion project it could be anything but it's not been your primary source of income and it's been a long a long battle and it's kind of like okay how is this going how am i going to transform this how am i going to transform my life and be able to go in the direction that i really want to go in well, the thing is here, okay, is that something is coming in, especially maybe with this new moon of Pisces, this person comes onto your path, right? It, it could even be in the form of watching an inspirational movie or something like that, where you get this spark of inspiration of, wait a minute, why do I think I can't do this? Well, you're looking at why you can't do it. It could be, okay, the the conditioned beliefs <laughs> that, you know, we've all uh, have from childhood, right? Or it could be the fact that, you know, you had your art hanging up in a gallery and you were standing there and nobody knew that you were the, you know, the, the artist and, and somebody made some snide comment, okay? And you took it to heart, of course, right? And it's kind of like understanding that, well, maybe that person was just having a bad day or something. That you not to to allow yourself to have some of those external factors deter you from what it is that you truly want. If you want it, you choose it, you step into it, and you allow yourself to to walk this path it's a true transformation of saying i'm no longer yeah you're looking at the past this is really kind of interesting for some of you it could even be you know the energy you're seeing clearly something from the past that really and truly broke i want to say almost like broke you or broke you know broke your spirit you know they're showing me a horse like a wild horse and you know how they break a horse I feel like that's the energy that you have had in this situation. Like you feel like you've been bro broken either by, you know, comments your family made about the direction that you wanted to go in or, you know, society or just, you know, it's been a hard road. Let's put it that way, right? You have the nine of wands here. It's been a long road, perhaps the last nine years. It's just been so slow. And so it's kind of like allowing yourself to see that you are not what other people say about you. You are not a reflection of what other people say about what it is that you want to do, the path that you want to choose, right? That the transformation occurs <laughs> when you realize, I, I can't wait for these people, right? My family, society, whoever, to to decide that they like what it is that I'm producing. Instead, what I'm going to do is believe in myself. We have the Hierophant and the Empress. I'm going to build the world that, that I truly want. I'm choosing this path. I'm putting to the side, right, all of the mindsets of what people have said or done. And I know that's easier said than done. <laughs> We've all, uh, we all, in one way or another, we all walk that path. But I think that that's what you're seeing. You're seeing, wait a minute, there's a, a whole other world out there that does want what I am creating. I'm I'm trying. I'm spending all this time and energy trying to convince my parents or my friends or the the community I live in that what I'm producing here or trying to do the path that I'm trying to walk is a good path for me. But it's kind of like. Okay, those people or those situations, they're not going to change their mind. It's about, okay, wait a minute. I'm, I believe in what it is <laughs> that I'm creating. I believe in the path that I want. That's all that matters. So I'm going to step onto that path. I'm going to keep my emotional support, you know, going. And you can find emotional support from your angels, your spirit guides, Knowing that they're on your side, they're going to take you to, um, they're going to bring in the opportunities and the situations that will help you on your path. And especially this teacher, this sense of inspiration that you're getting, especially with the new moon in Pisces, right? That is on your path. Understanding that they're trying to help you, to guide you. Don't put your energy 
towards trying to change some people's minds or trying to uh, to convince them of anything or trying to garner their their support that's those people are just not going to change their mind it's it's like okay that uh, th we have to allow them to be them right instead what you're going to do is put your time and energy into loving yourself into building the life that you want for yourself walking away from the victim mentality that yeah i feel like some people from the past six of cups this is definitely people or situations from the past you know it could be even a past employer it could be you know an art teacher that you had that said you're not very artistic or you would never make money <laughs> being an artist or or whatever this is, right? It's kind of like, no, wait a minute. This is my path. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks about my path. Yes, this is a beautiful. And I feel like, you know, you are really and truly transforming yourself, allowing yourself to move forward in the direction of building the, the life that you want. The Queen of Pentacles is the energy of business savvy, home and hearth, building the life that you want for yourself and not being worried about what other people have to say. I think for some of you, it does mean that you have to end um, either a mindset about how you are approaching this with some people in your family, perhaps especially uh, family members because you have the Six of Cups twice, right? Or with, you know, um, a, a group of people or friends, society, whatever it is. It's kind of like, okay, I have to allow myself, yeah, to take a look at that. See clearly, yes. And I love this star. I got to go in a different direction. Seeing clearly. That is time. It, it's time to shine your light. It's time to step into your path. And... And, and know that you are going to, um, yeah, just a beautiful energy uh, of having your wishes come true. The star is your wishes coming true. When you allow yourself to go in a different direction, and once again, it's not, it's not a different direction as far as the path that you're on is wrong, right? Or not right for you. It's the energy of going in that same direction going after what your heart truly desires but with a different energy of understanding it is my top priority right i'm putting all of it's kind of like putting all your eggs into that basket and saying it doesn't matter this is kind of like the energy if you want to be like an actor or an actress right and um you know your parents are kind of like well you also have to have another job that really supports you you know you have to be a, a waitress or you have to have some other job and just you know act at night or on the weekends don't put all your eggs in that acting basket you know you have to have a plan you have to have something else that will really support you well if you're if you're not putting all your eggs in the actress or actor basket, right? <laughs> Choosing that that is the path that you're going to go on, then how could you ever be truly successful in it? It's kind of like, no, acting and being an actress is, or being an actress is my path. And yes, I may have to have some other um, ways of making money, perhaps waitressing or something like that, right? I have to do that in order to be able to support what I really and truly want for a short time, but I am not. It's kind of like if you went home for Thanksgiving and your parents said that you were a waitress that acts on the weekends and you are stepping into the energy of saying, no, I am an actress that waits tables <laughs> on the weekends. It's kind of like, you see the difference? It's kind of like, it totally changes your energy because it's kind of like you're taking, you, there's, you're staying on the path towards what your heart desires, but you're flipping your energy by flipping the way that you're perceiving what it is that, you, the path that you are on. It's kind of like, perhaps it is all about just the way that you're labeling it, right? Yeah. Really a kind of a beautiful energy there. Yeah, uh, of really stepping into owning who owning your truth. That's the where the transformation is, right? Owning your truth and, and not backing down from it. Seeing clearly that, you know, pl uh, 
having it having having it switched in your head and i think somebody in your life has has put you into that energy of switching it in your head right but they probably did it out of a loving sense that they wanted you to be safe and secure right and have financial stability but it's kind of like also recognizing it's my life i get to choose if if i choose to make acting my my goal right to, to be an actress if that i want to make that my goal and it doesn't matter if i'm waitressing on the weekend or something as long as i'm putting my time and energy where it really matters yeah wow beautiful energy all right pisces let's pull a soul truth card for you and i do do personal readings so if you're interested the link is in the description box below i'd really be honored to do a reading for you who can i serve today yeah so here's the thing is that this project that you have has a spiritual essence to it right you have a spiritual temple here so it's kind of like understanding that this is your life purpose whatever it is it's kind of like this person doesn't understand that this is why you are here. This is your why. And, uh, and and you, I think, have allowed yourself to get into perhaps a little bit of the victim mentality because it's kind of like, yeah, this is maybe you're saying this is my why, but it's just not going to work out this lifetime, right? This is kind of like this person or this situation or maybe even this reading, right? Puts you into this energy of saying, well, wait a minute. If nobody loves my why <clears throat> except me, that's fine because my why is my why and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about what my why is, <laughs> right? It's kind of like, no, my why is not to be here and be safe and secure. My why is to put out my creative abilities or whatever this is for you, right? Put this out into the world and to help serve others by bringing healing energy to the world through this. Um, yeah. I mean, I thought I had the healing light. I thought we had that. <laughs> Guess not. Well, it's here, right? You have the star. You do have the star. See, this is healing. The healing energy that your, your creations bring to the world is so necessary, Pisces. So it doesn't matter. You're not here to be safe and secure. When you put your energy into your life purpose, you will also be safe and secure. <laughs> the universe will back you and bring you what it is that you need in order to stay in your why. If you've been struggling financially, okay, this could be because you have it flipped in your head. You have it flipped that this is just a hobby instead of your why. It's stepping into your why, embracing it, and not allowing anybody to, um, to have you step down. And knowing that they mean it well. They want you to be safe and secure. You're going to be safe and secure when you allow yourself to really put shine. Shine your light through um, whatever your, your passion project is. Wow, beautiful energy. All right, Pisces, I'm leaving it there. I wish you so much love and light. And um, I really do appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.